Hello everyone. Today our topic is comparison waterfall, iterative, spiral, and V-shaped models. A quick revision of the definition and main features of each model. In a waterfall model, each phase must be completed before the next phase can begin and there is no overlapping in the phases. The outcome of one phase acts as the input for the next phase sequentially. The iterative model is repetition incarnate. Instead of starting with fully known requirements, we implement a set of software requirements, then test, evaluate, and pinpoint further requirements. A new version of the software is produced with each iteration. Rinse and repeat until the complete system is ready. The spiral model combines the idea of iterative development with the systematic, controlled aspects of the waterfall model. It follows incremental releases of the product or incremental refinement through each iteration around the spiral. The V-shaped model is similar to the waterfall model, except that testing is performed for each development stage. Like waterfall, each stage begins only after the previous one has ended. Regarding the probability to handle large projects, waterfall, iterative, and V-shaped models are not appropriate to handle large projects, while spiral model is appropriate to handle large projects, agile model as well. Regarding working software availability, in waterfall model, it's available at the end of the life cycle. In iterative model, a new version of the software is produced with each phase or iteration. In spiral model, at the end of each iteration as well. And in the V-shaped model, each phase has specific deliverables. The next property is user involvement. In the waterfall and in the V-shaped model, only at the beginning. In the iterative model, user involvement is intermediate while in the spiral model, user involvement is high. Framework type, in waterfall and V-shaped models, linear, while in iterative and spiral, linear plus iterative. Cost is low in waterfall model, low to medium in iterative, expensive in spiral, medium to expensive in V-shaped. Next, testing. In waterfall model, it's performed after completion of development phase, the iterative model after every iteration in spiral at the end of the engineering phase and in the V-shaped model at the end of each phase. Risk factor is high in both waterfall and V-shaped models and low in iterative and spiral models. In waterfall, spiral, and V-shaped models, there are no overlapping phases, but phases may overlap in an iterative model. Waterfall, iterative, and spiral models are heavyweight models since they are process and tool-oriented models. They follow predictive approach involving comprehensive documentation. Lightweight models, such as the agile model, are people-oriented models following decentralized approach, which makes them adaptive to changes. For today, that's all. Thank you.